Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys what I got my kids for St. Nick, and then also what I got my granddaughters for St. Nick. Let's get started. I have three grandchildren that I'm gonna be sharing what I got for them, and then also I'm gonna be sharing what I got eight of the kids that are still in the house for St. Nick. I do not buy St. Nick for my older two anymore. Um, I have in the past where I did like partner little gift baskets and stuff, but I'm not going to be doing that this year. So it's mainly gonna be the eight kids that I have in the house. And I'm gonna share with you guys what I got them. I don't have their stockings or anything ready. You will see that on the day of them opening them. I will also, and then for my grandchildren too, you might not see that because that is, they're either gonna open that on Christmas day or before that, I'm not quite sure. Uh, also, I don't have all the candy in their stockings yet. So I don't have, what I'm gonna show you is just little odds and ends kind of candy things. Uh, for the grandchildren, I have little, little treats in there, but I do buy um, packages of candy. And then I just divide it up in between all the stockings. I only have two kids that have certain allergies to treats. So my granddaughter can't have certain things, so she's gonna have something different in her stocking. And then one of my boys can't really have peanut butter. We're still working on that to see if he's over that. So I don't put peanut butter in or any peanut butter treats in his. All right, so let me turn you around. We're gonna start out with the granddaughters first. So I have three granddaughters and they are um, around the same ages as my younger three. I shared that in what I got my granddaughters for Christmas. I shared that in there too. Um, so they're the same ages as the twins around there, Evelyn and Declan and Declan's nine. So that is the age group that you are thinking about when I share this with you. Um, but yeah, so I have all the girls stuff right here and I have all the boys stuff. I have some stuff here. I have some stuff up there. I have to try to keep it all organized. Otherwise I forget who I gave what to. So I kind of try to keep the theme with all of them. Now Gage is my oldest one that will be getting gifts. I hardly have anything for him just because I'm not gonna tie in some of these little kid stuff for him. I do have a pair of gloves that I'm hoping to get before St. Nick. I will leave a little picture right here. I will list that in my Amazon uh, storefront also if you wanna check that out. Um, they're super cool if you have kids that are into working on cars or work with their hands and they need a little bit of extra light with uh, what they're doing. They're so cool. So I'm going to tie that in with his St. Nick. And then I'm also going to go get him some odds and ends things, maybe some uh, gift cards or whatever. I don't spend a lot on St. Nick. I spend more of the stuff for Christmas. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. But let me just show you what I got everyone. For the granddaughters, I tried to keep everything pretty equal with what they're all getting. Now, I have a lady at my work that um, she will drop off mittens during the holiday season and she sells her mittens. So for the bigger ones, they are $3. For the smaller ones, they are $2.50. If any of you guys are interested in purchasing it, purchasing any, please email me at 10 kids in a garage at gmail.com and I can some way um, hook you up with some mittens for really, really cheap. We can do a PayPal kind of uh, payment exchange and I can send them out to you right away. Um, this would be a cute little gift for someone in your family, grandchildren, um, elderly, whoever needs some cute little mittens. She does an amazing job. And and they are super cheap, but I love them. And I think I gave them mittens last year also. Okay, so all three of the girls are gonna be getting mittens. I think this is gonna be the middle uh, granddaughter, oldest granddaughter, and the youngest one. The youngest one loves Grinch. So I went with green because this is what my daughter told me I should probably pick out for her. So that is what I got her. Now all their gifts are kind of scattered here, but I will just go over kind of like 
you know, what I all got them in the same like sequence. Okay, so I got all three of them, one of these little dolls at the Dollar Tree. A lot of this stuff came from the Dollar Tree. Uh, maybe I got some, I think I got these at Walmart and some of these other things from Walmart and I'll go over that in a minute. All right, so they are into some fashion things. They like drawing out uh, dresses and stuff and notebooks and designing their own outfits and stuff. So I thought this was really cute. It's a tie-dye fashion uh, little like dress and they can color it and tie-dye them. So I got all three of the granddaughters, one of them. I got all three of them a new toothbrush and this I got at the Dollar Tree. And then also I got them some kits and these I got, I think at Walmart. I think I got these. I can't remember where I got these, honestly. But these are charm bead jewelry kits. So this one has a little candy cane. This one has a snowflake. And this one is the same as the other one, little candy cane. So I got three of them. And then I got all three of them, these little sticker nail art, surprise nail art. Which set will you get? So they have little stickers they can put on their nails. They like doing their nails. Um, okay, so I just shared the dolls with you. And then two of the granddaughters are going to be getting some hot chocolate. This one is going to be going to my oldest granddaughter because she likes foxes. And then for the other granddaughter that cannot have chocolate, she, is, or no, it actually it's the milk in there that she can't have. She can have certain chocolates if it's dairy free and she can have Oreos. So I found her this mini Oreo holiday adventure kit. So I thought that is cute for her. And what else did I get? I got them all these little poppet gumballs. So I got some Christmas tree ones, little mitten ones, and I got them another Christmas tree one. I thought them are really cute. So I got them. And then this is a pack of three. They're little ring pops. And for one of my granddaughters, I got her this neon glow crazy loom little bracelet kit. And this I got at the Dollar Tree. Uh, what else did I get? I thought I got something else. For the one that loves Grinch, I found her these little Grinch lights. And then I also also found her this little Grinch um, Hershey Kiss. And I got a bunch of these Hershey Kisses um, little Grinches. So I'm going to put that in her, her kit. Um, now that I'm looking this over, though, I need to probably get um, something else for one of the other granddaughters. So I got this, and then I think I'm missing one for one of the other girls. So I will pick up something and tie that in just so it's equal. And Walmart had these little, what are they? Slime, glow in the dark slime. And I think there's little dinosaurs and stuff inside. They were only 50 cents. I bought a lot of them. So three of them. Like I said, this is all scattered all over the place. So if I'm missing, oh, they're all three are right there. So I got them. And then I got these mystery kits and, or these little mystery balls. They are blind balls. And I think I got these for 50 cents or a dollar. I can't remember or even cheaper than that. I try to go to Walmart and see, I go by their clearance and I also go by, like if you just walk in, they always have like little, now they have this new do, like low dollar stuff there. So I always go over there and see what they have. And I always find these little blind balls and these are little uh, pony ones, I think. So we're gonna be tying them in with their, their basket or their little stocking. So that is everything that I got them. Um, but I didn't realize that I'm missing out for one of the other ones. So one of the girls are going to be getting the Grinch, the little Grinch extra stuff. And then one of the girls are going to get one of these. So I can go back and maybe get another one. So one of the girls can have another one. So maybe that's what I'm going to do. So that is everything for the grandchildren for um, St. Nick. 
All right, so we're going to start with Evelyn first and what I got out Evelyn for St. Nick. Okay, so I had her this little gyro racer. This I found at Menards, and they were, I think it was like $2.50 for these. And I got, I think I got all the kids, one of them. I think I'm missing one for Gage, but I'm just going to go back and get another one. So one of them little racers, I got her some toothbrushes, three toothbrushes. And then also at Menards, they had these little snow globes. I thought this was really cute. It's not glass, it's plastic, and it'll probably last a little longer. And then also at Walmart, they had this on clearance. She loves Paw Patrol. This is something she can bring the church with us and sit there and color on this while she's there and um, while we're sitting in service that she can probably just color on one of them. I also got her a hot chocolate. I got her a bunch of these blind balls also. And then the dinosaur too. She likes to be tied in with some of the stuff that the boys are doing. So um, we tie in girls and boys stuff with her and that is okay. I found this little Gabby uh, dollhouse squeeze me at Walmart and these were getting clearanced out also. She is gonna love that. I got them all. I'm pretty sure I got these for the younger ones. These little push up paps. So I thought that was cute. I got all the kids a dig kit from the Dollar Tree. Um, they love doing these little gemstone, um, little hide in what is it? Discover Hidden Pirate Treasure. So they're going to have fun with that. And then at the Dollar Tree, they also had these little um, Play-Doh kits. So I got Evelyn this one. And at our local market, we have this little natural market in our town. And they were selling these little chocolates. It's a little mouse and a little angel. And I thought that would be so adorable. And then she's going to get a Kinder Snowman. I'm going to be tying in more candy in their stockings, but not much. I just want to get them something extra special that's cute for their stocking. All right, so I'm going to move on to the twins. They are next. So this is what I got one of the twins. I got them one of them gyro racers. They, I found these little skateboards at the Dollar Tree. I got the dig kit, uh, hot chocolate. Um, I found these little kits at the Dollar Tree, little Lego sets. And they also wanted watches, and I found these at Menards for $5, and it comes with a little flashlight. When we go down to go do animals and stuff, they can bring that down there with them. I also got them a bunch of blind balls and one of the dinosaur um, little blind little dinosaur kit. This one I don't think is glow in the dark, but I, it might be a slime um, with a dinosaur in it. I also got them the little push-up pop. I got them a little sucker and then the little Kinder Joy snowman. And the kids have been asking for playing cards. Now this is Go Fish, but they can still play with it the regular way that you play with um, with cards because it has the numbers on there. So that is what I got Nash. And then on to Lachlan, I got him the same thing. So I got him the watch. I got him a little Lego set. I got him some blind balls also, and then the little dinosaur one. I also got him a playing card, so this is War, but he also can play it in different ways because it has all the numbers on it. I also got them the little mouse. Oh, I'm just seeing. Oh, oh here's, here's Nash's little mouse. So I got him a little mouse, and then the little Kinder Joy, and a little sucker. And then the skateboard, the dig kit, the hot chocolate. That is what I got, Lachlan. And then on to Declan. He also wanted to watch, so I found him a Spider-Man one because he likes Spider-Man. And I got the little um, flash that comes with it. I also got him a deck of cards. This is Crazy 8, but it also has the numbers on it too, so they can play it as regular cards. I got him also the blind balls, the gyro racer, um, the Swiss Miss Chocolate Mix. I got three toothbrushes, so we'll divide that up between Nash, Lachlan, and Declan. And then I also got the Dig Kit. I got him an extra little thing of chocolates. He also got one of these Push Pops with a little uh, Christmas tree. And we got him a Kinder Joy. And one of the skateboards here. 
and let's see and one of the suckers also got him a little mouse from that um natural market okay so that is declan and then on to miles i got him a lego set so from the dollar tree i got him a skateboard i got him some chocolate and then I also got him a dig kit. I got him some mystery balls. I got him the little mouse also, the Kinder Joy. And he is my hot sauce kid. I found this, I thought that was so cute. It's a little ornament with hot sauce in it. So that is Miles's. And then on to Hudson. Hudson got a Lego set. He got some of these mystery balls also. He got a skateboard. He got the uh, gyro racer the little dig kit. Uh, he wanted this extreme chocolate, dark chocolate from the natural market. So he got one of them. He got the little mouse too. He wanted this little squish guy from the Dollar Tree and some hot chocolate and a Kinder Joy. And okay, so that was Hudson. Now we are going to go on to Eli. Okay, so for Eli, he got the hot chocolate. He got a little Lego kit also, the dig kit. He also got a gyro racer. He got the little mouse. And he got the mystery kit stuff, little balls. I got him a Santa hat, little Hershey Kiss, the Kinder Joy. I got him one of these little grabbers. Um, because he's that he's even though he's 15, he loves stuff like this. So I don't know. We'll see if he likes it. It's so funny. He likes little knick-knacky things like that. So that is Eli's. And then also I'm going to be putting in some socks for him. And I think I might be getting socks for some of the other kids also for their stocking. So I still have to get that yet. And then for Gage, I got him the hot chocolate, some mystery balls. He wanted one of these little Batmans. He also got the little dinosaur thing and the Kinder Joy. I got him one of these little chocolate bars and then one of the little mice here too. So he also is gonna be getting the light gloves for him. And what else? I was gonna maybe put some socks in here for Gage. I think I put that in what I got my kids for Christmas, but it's actually supposed to be in his stocking for St. Nick. So I got to take that out of there and put that in here, but I'm also going to be putting in them gloves that have the lights and stuff in it. So that is everything that I got everyone for St. Nick. Um, so I'm going to pack this stuff up and put it away and we are going to get stockings out and we do St. Nick on December 5th. I think it's the night of December 5th. We do St. Nick the night of December 5th. So they'll be getting their gifts on December 6th and we don't do stockings on the day of Christmas. And I know a lot of people do that, but we just make a day out of it for um, another extra special day through December. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing for St. Nick. Uh, it's just something little. Uh, we don't do, I don't feel like we do a lot for St. Nick, just little gadget kind of things. And mainly everything that I got was pretty cheap and pretty like inexpensive. And I was able to find things at a really good price right now. I always try to go directly into like the clearance sections or I'm looking around throughout the month, like if things go on sale or the dollar store, you know, always has little things too. And my kids love just, you know, little odds and end things. They don't, they're not really picky when it comes to toy items. Um, so the kids are going to have fun with the blind balls. They love stuff like that. They like the dig kids. Um, these are extra little fun things that they can play with through the month of December until Christmas comes. Um, but we're going to pack this stuff up and we're going to hide it so the kids don't see it until St. Nick. Let me know what you guys do for St. Nick. Let me know if you guys do it the night of December 5th or if you guys wait until Christmas um, to do that. So, all right. So hopefully you guys like today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.